This video will focus on the advanced setup of drawer workflows within the DocExpress service. Remember that drawers are your collections of documents, such as change orders, shop drawings, or submittals. Drawer workflows can be configured at the template level and applied across all your DocExpress contracts, or they can be configured per individual contract. Drawer configuration at either level is an agency-only function. In this example, we'll focus on the advanced setup of an individual drawer within an existing contract. From the DocExpress homepage, navigate to your contract and click Edit. Then click the drawer name you'd like to edit. From this page, you can begin to edit drawer details, such as drawer name, folder types, and the drawer workflow. Focusing first on drawer types, these are the equivalent of folders within your drawer. As an example, a submittals drawer might need folders for various types of submittals, such as a contractor submittal or a subcontract. When submitting documents to this drawer, users will be able to select a folder, and drawers can be filtered by the established folder type. The next portion of drawer setup focuses on document workflow, or the approval and review process that a document progresses through. Something to note here is that the workflow typically varies per drawer, so a submittals drawer might have a different workflow than a change orders drawer, just as an example. You can see that drawers are preset with a default workflow. Yours may be a little bit different than what's listed here, and can be easily configured. The steps listed in the Document Workflow Order section are the forward progression steps of your document workflow, and this is where you'll establish who needs to sign your document and when. Let's say we're setting up a submittals drawer that starts with contractor submission and progresses through two additional review and approval steps. The first step would be submitted, done by the prime contractor, and the subsequent steps, which you can add by clicking Add Workflow Step, would be under review and accepted. You can easily drag and drop to reorder workflow steps. The Executed By field allows you to select who is responsible for a specific workflow step. In this field, you can set general roles, such as internal roles, prime, associates, reviewers, or groups of users set up at the template level. You can also add individuals to workflow steps if a specific person is responsible for that signature. For each step, you can also see that there is a signature option. DocExpress offers electronic and digital signatures, which can be set up as needed on individual workflow steps. As an example, we'll specify that an electronic signature is required upon contractor submittal and internal approval, but no signature is needed while a document is under review. For each step, there is a required flag, which designates an individual workflow step as required or optional. If there's a step in your workflow that doesn't have to be done for every document in a drawer, but sometimes happens, this option can be unchecked and the workflow step can be skipped as needed. For each workflow step, there are some advanced options, which you can toggle on as needed. The Publish option allows a new version of the document to be published to a separate contract drawer when it gets to a specific step in the workflow. The original document remains in the current drawer, and a new copy of the document is displayed in the drawer you select to publish to. As an example, if you are working in an internal-only drawer, and utilize this option. Documents could be copied to another drawer that contractors could access, but they couldn't see any of the audit trail activity from the original drawer or document. The Allow Revision option allows a new version of the document to be uploaded. DocExpress has version tracking, so each version of a document would be displayed within the audit trail if this option is used. The Verify Performance Bond option can be utilized if a workflow step requires performance bond verification from a contract. You can have as many workflow steps as your drawer requires, and workflow steps can be deleted using the red X. You can also see that there are a few other workflow options. The Include Signature Page checkbox adds a page of up-to-date signatures to the end of a document. If the signature page is included, the document uploaded to the drawer must be a PDF file. The Ordered Workflow checkbox sets whether or not your workflow steps happen in the order in which they are listed. If it does not matter when a signer transitions the document, and only matters that all the steps are eventually executed, then clear the ordered workflow checkbox. 
The Restrict Resubmit checkbox can be utilized if you do not want to reject a document to be resubmitted. When you select this option, you will not be able to continue the workflow for a rejected document, and the document must be uploaded as a brand new submission. Below, you can see an area for document resubmissions, which lists any document rejection or resubmission steps within your workflow. As an example, you could have a step for rejected and an additional step for amend and resubmit. Something to note is that drawer setup can be updated at any time, and any changes are reflected in the drawer's activity log. If you do make changes to a drawer's workflow, existing documents will pick up the changes after the current workflow step. After you make all necessary changes on the drawer setup page, you can click Save. 